when we try to integrate this integral ln y over y squared, we can try to use substitution. Well, substitution doesn't work. It's not a standard integral. So at this point, we're stuck. So we would then move on to our integration by parts. So the integration by parts formula looks like this. And it is showing starting with an integral u dv. And it's just rearranging that integral into a new expression. And hopefully, that new expression involves a new integral that we can actually anti-differentiate. OK, so let's do this. The key to selecting parts for this, the parts that we need to have are we need to select u and dv. And we're going to have the parts v and du that we're going to generate. The key to selecting this is we want to select a dv part that is the most complex that we are able to integrate. In this case, we cannot integrate log y, so we can integrate the y 1 over y squared. So that's where I'm going to start with my dv. My dv is equal to 1 over y squared dy. Okay, so from there we can integrate this to generate the v part. The integral of 1 over y squared is negative 1 over y. So there we have our dv. We selected our dv. We generated our v. So looking at the other parts here, the other part left over is going to be that part there. And that's going to be our u. So we're going to let u equal log y. And then we need to, from that part, we need to generate the du part. And from the du, we differentiate that expression. We get 1 over y. And then we just move the dy part over. OK, so starting with our original integral, which we could not work out, log y over y squared dy, I've got a new expression. That new expression is going to be negative log y over y. OK, this is my uv. And then minus, this is the part that's important. This new integral that we generate, it needs to be something that we can anti-differentiate. So when I put v du together, I'm going to end up with negative 1 over y squared. That making sure I keep track of my negatives there. Okay, so I end up with negative log y over y plus. Now this new integral we can anti-differentiate. In fact, we're going to anti-differentiate that expression into negative 1 over y. And so we've now anti-differentiated this expression. We need to make sure we add a plus c. I'm just going to rearrange this. So we're going to end up with, I can factor out a negative 1 over y. I end up with log y plus 1 plus c. And when I take a look at the expressions, my answer is going to be d.